Hi, I'm Jimena Berbejillo from Entre Lanas Designs and welcome to my channel. I am a weaver. I weave in the rigid heddle loom and I would like to show you today the process I took or um, of learning and practicing learning and making mistakes and everything <laughs> to get to a result like this in one of my pieces. This is a shawl, a cotton shawl, and I created this band and I would like to show you how is that I ended up doing this. So the first thing I want to say is that personally I learn better when I see things. So when I watch a video or when someone shows me how things are done than by reading only the instructions. So if you are like me, I hope this helps you. I'm not saying that the written instructions are not good or necessary, but I'm someone that needs to always see it to understand it better. So how I learned to do this technique, even though I read and I looked up in all my books of weaving and patterns and this and that, I found some videos on YouTube of other weavers who were teaching how to do this kind of bands, kind of designs. And I watched it and I said, okay, now I'm going to try. And this is the second trying, <laughs> which looks a little better than the first one. And the way I ended up working and reaching this result is the following. So I'm going to show you now. After I watched the videos and um, decided, okay, I'm going to try this, I went to this notebook and I started um, creating designs according to what the, that video I learned from was telling me to do. So I created all these different patterns and this and then because it's easier so I spent a long time doing these things, mistakes and everything. And then I decided to make it simpler and I created this uh, spreadsheets on Excel computer where I translated all those pencil drawings to this and I um, printed it in three pages so I have it easy. It's easier to weave from this because I have it in front of me on the loom. And for example here, this other example I have here, so you can see that I was I'm counting here and it's important for you to know this I'm going to repeat it later but for you to know that each square so this is an, a unit of a square this little one here and that corresponds to two threads of um, the warp and two picks of the um, of, with the shuttle so basically each square is two by two that's what you want to know um, however when I was doing the, the examples here, if you can see here, I was using a very thick yarn. So with just one pick of the color, it was enough and um, it worked fine. In this case, I was doing two picks, but I thought it was a little too thick. So I decided to do the one pick only. However, when I went to do my regular, my final product, a cotton, I realized that if I was doing one um, of the color only and not two, as it says, it will be too narrow and I didn't like that way. So then I decided to still go for two. Um, Another important thing that you can see here is that this is double. So if you can see the thread, I did two. Well, you will. I will show it to you later better. But um, that's all a question of the design you want to end up with. But I, I thought that doubling the 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 yarn will make it look better and not see anything underneath. Um, so this is the pattern that I created from here, from my papers, and now I'm going to show you how is that I end up translating this paper to this. So I started with the first two um, rows. 
one thing I forgot to say before is that when I mentioned that this little square is two warp, um, two warp threads and two picks, this is what I, so this is a whole unit. Yeah, this would be a whole unit. In this case, it corresponds to four. Mm -hmm. This would be two and two warp um, threads, which is this, that translates to this one here. And it, it actually, you will consider making one whole of this once you did four times. And I will explain how. So I keep my design here on the other side of the heddle to make it more comfortable. So what are the instruments you need? You need a pickup uh, stick and you need two shuttles with the base color and the color you're going to do your band. So, um, as I said before, I decided to do my color with double to um, double thread because it would be the same it's the same as the base color so I didn't think it would cover it as I wanted so I ended up doubling it but you can do as you wish so the first thing uh, in this design is that I created this band this um, yeah this four um, picks of the color no actually yeah, four picks of the color that will that is the beginning and at the end I will make another one so you um, look at the pattern here and all the white things means that the pickup stick goes under and all the black things means it goes over yeah so I started here that was that corresponds to this at the beginning is a little tricky because you will have to see if you see here I crossed out the beginning it was a little confusing but um, now I'm going to do this row here which is, would be my second row of the design and I know because I know this is four each unit is four two and two that this next row will mean that I start with two here before the one that I already have. So what I do is I um, start by the first one, the edge, I go over it. And then I go under, in this case it's three, and so I'm going to start counting now here, four over. So it's four over. Then I have four under, four under. Then I have two, four, six, eight, ten over. Which can be hard to count, but what I, I know that I have six here, so I know that it's two before and two after. Yeah, so I'm here. So it's four under four over, four under, this is two over, four under, four over, and I'm going to pause here for a second. So then you will say, oh my god, it's so complicated to remember this and to really count. What I realize is that if you do it as a, as if you're saying a verse or singing a song, then it's much easier. So I know here the beginning is different, but then what I have is, for example, if I start counting from the two here, I would say four, 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 ten, four, 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 two. Keep this. So it was here. I was here. Yeah, in the in the two, which is here. Four, 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 ten, four, 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 two. 4, 4, 4, 10, 4, 4, 4, 2, and so on. So create that verse in your head and it's much easier to follow it. So I was here in 2. This was 2 over and it's 4, 4, 
four, ten, four, 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 two, four, 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 ten, four, and so on. Now the pickup stick is all in according to the design. So you, um, I forgot to say, a oh, little detail. The handle has to be in the neutral position to do this, to do this uh, design, this float, that's how it's called. So it has to be in the neutral position, neither up nor down, to make it easier. So then you you put the pickup stick with according to your design, and then you put it on the edge, like that, and then you're ready to uh, pass your shuttle with the collar. Because I already started here, you can see at the beginning, what important thing is to um, pay attention to your edges. And um, in this case, you will find your own technique of how to do that. But what I do is I always put the color around the base, the, the white in this case, and goes under. And I always make sure that the edges you will see when I pass the white that are trapped there, that are locked. So you pass the color. You, in this case, because it's two threads, I'm really picky about having them all and not twisted. So they are all nice and even, which sometimes makes it a little more complicated. So we take a little time. So, and you carefully hold at the edge so it doesn't um, pull, because one of the problems with this kind of design is that you pull the edges and then the, so the salvages go like this. So once you that, you can take out the pickup stick, put it aside, and beat. So I check that everything is fine, everything looks okay, didn't make any mistakes. And now I am going to put the, shovel, uh, the heddle in the bottom and start and do a pass with the base color, the white. Because in between the color you always go with the base color, the white in this case. And I wouldn't do this normally if I am weaving just with one color, but in this case, because there is a color here, I lock the first uh, thread of the warp in the bottom and I pass the shuttle under that. So it makes the edge here better. And I make sure that it doesn't pull and I beat and I put back in neutral position. So now what I will do is I am going to, as I said, this is just half of the design. So I did one pass. So now I need to come back with the color to the other side and with the white to the other side. Uh, the good thing about the second time you do it is that you already have the bottom, the first line. So to when you do the pickup stick, you just do it the same way. You don't need to look at the design. You just look at what you have in the low and you do it that way. So I'm going to do that now and um, get it ready to come back. I want to show you now in um, closer that before, how is that I do the edges. So I have the pickup stick ready here and um, put it on the on the edge. And as I said before, so this is the base color. I go with the color I'm using for the van. I go under it and when I get there, I try to accommodate, as I said, the two threads so they are not twisted. Uh, this time, after a while, it gets really twisted in the shuttle, so 
it's a little more complicated. Good. So as you can see here, I been going over the with the color. I go over the first thread, even if it's not part of the of the design. It leaves me with this here. It doesn't bother me because I at the end I do a, a something a finishing thing around the edges of the whole shell or maybe even if I don't do it it's not that bad that this is part of the design too so the the white the base color is locked here so this will be the big so I go down take the pickup stick out beat make sure it's not pulling in so that's you have to adjust it and now i go with the head and down position and now i will go with the white base color and what i do is i always trap the bottom thread with the white remember with the color i was going over the first thread. Now with the white I go under it, so I put it on, uh, under, and then I pass the shuttle through the shed. In this way the colors, the two threads are locked and they don't pull and they don't go inside here and then, because if you don't lock it then the color will like move to instead of being right in the edge it will be more like here and that won't look nice so i could pull a little more and adjust this and then beat and see this is i pull too much so now i need to stretch it <laughs> So that was what I wanted to show you. And as I can, as you can see, as I said, I'm in the half of it. So I'm going to go the same thing here up and I will then show you at the end. Here you have the band all finished. Top, bottom. Now I have to weave um, three more inches of white and hem stitching and it's done. And this end that you see here. Uh, I will weave them in the back. Um, the fun thing of doing a band like this with a pickup stick and so with floats is that actually you have one design on one side and the opposite on the other side. So you can wear the shawl both ways as you like it. Well, I hope it was helpful and you learned something with this and I will see you again in my next video. Muchas gracias.